And that's a pivotal point. And the question, the most important question that starts is that at one point you're saying, who am I? Who, who am I? I know they've said, they've told me I'm Zaratustra or my name is John or my name is Hilde or whatever and, and I'm, I'm a man, I'm a woman, I'm a student, I'm a doctor, I'm, I'm a nurse or whatever it is. I know these things, I know of these things, but, but am I really this? Is this really who I am? So that's a very, very important place in your spiritual evolution, that when you start to question your identity, the identity that you think who you are is being questioned. And that's from there, a very powerful journey starts to happen. Because now the force within yourself, the divinity, your div div the God within you is now pulling you inside. You're getting pulled and the journey within really starts. And it's not going to stop till you get to the answer. That's the beauty of it. I mean, on one hand, you're trying to get to it. On the other hand, from inside, it's really pulling you in. I have a question. Yeah, sure. What is your name? Hi, this is Sky. Sky, hi Sky. Nice, nice having you back. It's so wonderful to hear you and thank you so much. Yeah. So I've had, I mean, I've had some very interesting experiences and a lot of it uh, originated from doing the ayahuasca ceremonies, but it's, okay. it's brought up a lot of identity uh, questions. And I just wanted to ask, have you ever, have you ever heard of or considered the possibility of, of having two souls? that no i never thought about it so i mean as super succinctly during the first ayahuasca ceremony there was this other uh, i had the sense of being a dragon and okay. i took so much that i couldn't keep conscious control right and so it just sucked me into infinite bliss Okay. I mean, I was blissed. I was blissed out of being conscious. Okay. And at, at the same time, before I went into the bliss, I went into a a perfect stillness meditation, like samadhi, and that was just beyond words. You know, just everything yeah. perfectly still, perfectly quiet. Even though there was noise in the room, it was just like it was data to me, and it, and I was in this perfect stillness. Anyway. So I went back for their ceremony to see if this dragon type entity would uh, reappear and it came a lot stronger. I took less dose so I could stay conscious and I had this sensation that, that if I let, if I surrendered myself to it, I wouldn't just go into the bliss that, but that I wouldn't come back as, uh, com I wouldn't come back at all to this human body. Okay. So I, had I had someone I loved there, grandma, my, my mother-in-law, and, and I had her hold my hand and I held her hand and she helped remind me all the reasons to just stay in this world and, and be a support for them. And I did. And then now I just have all these different things that bring in some of that other entity and it feels more like me than my human identity. So I'm, I don't know, I'm just pondering like that it could be potentially from a different era or a different cycle of creation. And it's coming to me now and, and it has some right. stuff to clean up. It has anger. Um, it, it does have seem, seemingly access to infinite energy. Anyway, so I'm okay. just wondering what so, any thoughts you have. 
I would say to whom did, does this appear? To whom, well, to whom are so, these things coming? So that's the catch twenty two. When right. it does when it when it does appear strongly, it I stop feeling like a human and I start feeling like this entity and like that that's my true identity. So right. so when it appears, it feels like a uh, like I'm switching railroad tracks and I'm actually switching over to that one and that one feels much more uh, much more empowered, uh, much more infinite. Well, it feels infinite, and so it's very tempting to be like well i'll just shift from being a from being an effing mortal to being this infinite entity but then when i thought about family and everything else i said no i'm going to stay in this world there's reason to be here there's a reason i chose to be here and to be a human and that i need to continue my journey as a human okay so so when this thing ar ar arises again <clears throat> To whom did it arise? All these thoughts and these entities and these states. It, aro it arose to you, right? It arose to the to to the Skyler. Yeah, to the human sky. Okay, right. So now, if you, so in a very simple language, you can say, yeah, it rose to me. I experienced this. Correct? In Correct. a very simple language, right? So right. now if you, so now this I, this me, I'm sorry, I'm going to have to mute you because there's a lot of noise coming from behind. Now this, this I, I want you to cut the connection between you, this me, and whatever of these experiences you explain to me. Go ahead and cut that connection. Whatever has happened, I understand it's, it was very profound, powerful experience to go into this state of being the dragon, being the infinite. But something, it's an experience that arose. Is that right? It was an experience, correct? I I mean, it, I think let that. Let me ask you a question. Hold on. Uh, I think it's partially true. It could be an experience, but at the same time, I truly feel that I could shift over to that where the experience of being a human is no longer the experience. It's it's more like that that being a human was an experience, and that that is my true identity. Right. And then but, that, and then I, but then I would have to work on that identity and dissolving that identity into you know the oneness of all so right. then that sounds like a that sounds like an even harder challenge than working well, with this human human consciousness yeah all of this you know again um this is this is where it can get very dangerous and tricky my friend so let me give you my insight and what i've discovered especially with substance or using medicine to go to these worlds which are wonderful that it expands your horizon and you begin to see things and you go to this incredible places of completely being one with everything